I am probably the only person alive to say this, but I love moving. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for all things mommy, wife, and life. My name is Chessa. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all my moving hacks, tricks, and tips so that way you don't lose your mind when you're moving like I have definitely done in the past. <laughs> Today I am sharing all of my moving, packing, tips, tricks, and hacks so that you don't stress out and go crazy like I have definitely done on previous moves. So way prior to moving, you definitely want to go through your house and declutter and get rid of as much as you can. Go through room by room and create a pile of stuff that you want to get rid of, sell or donate, and also stuff that you want to throw away or use up. So far we have like a donate pile, we have empty boxes. I hate waste. So when I went through my, under my sink in my bathroom, I found tons of products that I didn't use and that are almost full or stuff that I was planning on using and I never got around to. So what I did was put everything up on my counter so that way I could use it up before the move. Anything that didn't get used up was gonna be thrown away before the move, but at least I could tell myself that I used some of those products and that I didn't just totally throw them away or get rid of them. You could also give them to a friend or a family member, but if they're already used, some people don't like that. And if you go through your stuff early enough, you could definitely even make some money. I made like over $200 in just a couple of days just from posting things on Facebook Marketplace and let go. I was actually shocked that people would buy some of the stuff that, <laughs> that they did buy. And prior to COVID, I would say definitely have a yard sale, but I think some people still are doing yard sales, even though like COVID's still going on. So definitely try to get rid of as much as you can. And whatever people don't buy, just take everything that you were going to sell anyway and just give it to donations. I love this tip because you can just get rid of stuff, you have less to move, and you get more money in your pocket. So it's a win-win. Also consolidation. I have a ton of products that were like the same scented-ish lotion. So what I did is I just put all of these lotions together as long as you don't mind mixing. Just make sure that the scents semi complement each other or else you might end up with like a lot of different scents going on. I was able to eliminate a lot of my lotion clutter this way and not feel guilty about not using the products. So definitely start collecting boxes as early as you can. As soon as you know that you're going to be moved, start collecting boxes in any way. Go to grocery stores. You can call up different businesses that definitely have some boxes lying around for free. Even U-Haul might have some boxes. If you're planning on renting a U-Haul anyway, sometimes they provide boxes for free. I just actually asked people from my work if they weren't using any of the boxes, if they could just give them to me rather than put them in the recycling bin. And another quick tip is just to go on Facebook Marketplace because some people are just giving away boxes for free as long as you pick them up. Also, don't pay for bubble wrap or padding. Just use what you have. Towels, tissue paper. I actually have a collection of tissue paper and gift bags over the years that I've uh, that I've collected from different people. I've always kept those so that way I can just reuse them. I even shopped my work and took all of the old newspapers that were going to be recycled. Also scarves make a really good packing item. Create a packing essentials box with everything that you need. I recommend putting a roll of tape in there for everybody that's going to be doing the packing as well as like a marker or a sharpie. Packing stickers which I'll talk about in a minute, screwdriver tools, and a box cutter. Put trash bags over clothes and then tie them at the top so that way you don't take all of your clothes out of your closet just to put them back again. This is a tremendous time saver. Also don't tie the bags too tight and make sure that you tie the top in a bow so that way you can always reuse the trash bags later. I've seen people that put holes in the bottom and then tie them at the bottom, but now you can't reuse those trash bags and that just creates more waste. Color code your boxes. I think that this is probably one of the best tips. There's a couple different ways you can do this. I found these stickers on Amazon, which I thought were really helpful, especially if you're hiring movers. You can assign a color to each room and, and have the appropriate boxes taken there. I think that you can also do this with Sharpies. Just go and buy a different colored Sharpie for every room that you wanna use and then have the boxes coordinate with that room as well. I've also heard people that do post-it notes for this. I really liked these stickers because it just kind of took the guesswork out of everything. But I also had to go on and write with a Sharpie anyway what was in the box, so that way it was even more helpful for me. When packing kitchen plates, I found that it was really helpful to put a paper plate in between every single one of the plates as a plate protector. And you can reuse these plates when you're done packing them anyway. Personally, I had a bunch of things that did not match, so I just went through and got rid of all my plates and then bought new ones. None of these match, so I'm getting rid of all of them. Same with these. 
When disassembling something with screws, you always wanna put this in a plastic bag and then tape it to whatever piece of furniture that you took that out. That way there's no guesswork and always label what it is because sometimes you could still put them in a baggie and it could be for something else. If you take anything away from this video, please do that. When you're putting tape on boxes, take the end piece and put a little fold in it. So that way it's super easy to open boxes when you get to your final destination. It saves your nails. And in case you don't have a box cutter handy, it also is helpful for that. If you're not very tech savvy like me, take a picture of all the wires on the back of the TV or for the Wi-Fi, So that way you know exactly how the wires are supposed to go. Pack an open me first box for everybody or even just pack a suitcase as if you're going on vacation. So that way you have everything that you need right when you move to your first spot and you're not searching around for different clothes or underwear or specific items that you need immediately. I also recommend that you pack essentials like toilet paper, paper towels, soap, so that way you're not scrambling at the last minute looking for those items too. Especially for kids and pets, make sure that there is a go bag that's in your car. That way they have everything that they need and we are not scrambling to go to a store at 5 a.m. like I was trying to find dog food because somebody packed my pet bag in the wrong place and didn't didn't keep it with me. Yeah, I was scrambling at the last minute getting food for my dog and I couldn't find the right brand. So then he had diarrhea all over the house that we were staying at. Yeah. I also packed an open me first box in the kitchen that had all of my coffee essentials because coffee. Making your own box handles is really helpful on boxes that are really awkward to carry. A great space saver is to put a lot of your condiments or spices inside different pans that have a lot of space in them that were just gonna be wasted space anyway. When you're packing, if you find something that you have no idea what it goes to, like a spare part or a wire, put it in a special I don't know box or just throw it away. Chances are you didn't know what that wire did before and chances are you're not gonna know when you move into your new house. I vote for throw it away, but if you feel uncomfortable throwing away something just in case it belongs to a different family member or something that you might, somebody else might piece together later, put it in a special I don't know box. And then in six months from now, if you haven't opened that box, throw it away. You can almost always repurchase any replacement wires online. Get child or pet care. This I cannot stress enough. When we move, my dog gets so much anxiety. So when we're packing up trucks, or something he is always wanting to be in the action and we can't put him in a crate because he just he's really self-destructive and doesn't like being in crates so he'll like he'll scratch so hard that his nails start to bleed if it's as severe as my dog's anxiety definitely get dog care and even child care if you if somebody is able, if somebody is able to watch your kids while you're trying to pack up stuff it is a, a godsend i always like to write on the top and the sides of the boxes that way you're not trying to scramble and turn the boxes around all the time to try to see what room they go into or what is in that box. It just makes it easier and that way you can stack boxes and still see what's in the box and still see where it's supposed to go. So make sure that you update your address two weeks prior to before you move. We didn't do this right off the bat at our new house because we actually didn't even know when we were getting the house and we didn't know where our mail would be going to. If you were in the same boat as us, the other option is to set up a small PO box or send your mail temporarily to a relative's house that lives nearby or a friend's home if they're okay with that. Some kitchen hacks are to invest in a couple of frozen meals to always have in the freezer. That way you're not creating a bunch of bulk meals or buying a lot of groceries when you're getting ready to move. Frozen meals are essential and you can just pop them in the microwave and eat them, no dishes required. Also going hand in hand with this is to create a little box of paper plates, knives, spoons, forks, napkins, plastic cups, all the stuff that you would normally need in your kitchen just in disposable form. So that way you can still pack everything that you need, you don't need to cook, and you have everything that you need in your kitchen. When you get to the new house, try as hard as you can to set up your kids' rooms first if you have children. It is so important for them to feel safe and a new space. They're going through so many transitions when they move to a new house, so definitely try to set up their room first so it feels more like home for them. Have your groceries sent right to your house. I loved this hack when I was moving into this house. That way when you're in the zone of unpacking, you don't feel the need to rush off to go to the grocery store. It can be delivered right to you. And that's everything for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I would love for you guys to be a part of my YouTube family. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.